Michael, so happy to see you! Yay! Yay! Hello, Elmo's friend! Elmo wants to play with you! Hello, Elmo's friend! Hi! It's Elmo! One, two, three! Sesame Street! Elmo like that address! One, two, three, four. to play presents for Elmo. Elmo wants two things in his present. Move star to something to give to Elmo. Then press the button. To give Elmo a present, put the star on the lid and press the button. Elmo wants two things in his present. Move star to something to give to Elmo. Then press the button. gets to open his present! Flowers! One! A top! Two! Wow! You gave Elmo two things! Thanks! Elmo is so happy you gave him such a great present! Elmo hope you will play again soon! Goodbye! Elmo 
know you will have good time counting with the count. Greetings, my little one. Welcome to my castle. One, two, three. Look at that. One, two, three, four wonderful friends you can call. Hello? Oh, hi! I'm so glad you called. I would love to talk on the telephone. What should we talk about? Oh, Elmo have no idea what to talk about. Call Elmo back again and see if Elmo thinks of something. Bye-bye. Look at that. One, two, three, four wonderful friends you can call. Hello? Oh, hi. You know, I just woke up, and I was trying to hear all the sounds of everybody waking up. Listen. That must be Bert and Ernie's alarm clock. Oh, listen to that. All the little birds are waking up. Hey, Oscar, not so loud. Don't you know some of us are still sleeping? Grouchers are just so, well, grouchy in the morning. Well, I'd better brush my teeth. See you soon. Bye. Look at that. One, two, three, four wonderful friends you can call. Hey, 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 hey! This is the Bert and Ernie joke line, and this is Bert here with a great joke. <clears throat> How do you catch a fish? <laughs> oh, Ernie, you're really gonna laugh at this one. Uh, give up? I'll tell you how to catch a fish. Here goes, you, you buzz off. Uh, 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 Ernie? Ernie, you're not laughing. That, that was a joke. You were supposed to laugh. Oh, Ernie, I told you I can't tell jokes. Anyway, here's laughing with you. <laughs> Bye. Kermit the Frog here with Science in the News. After extensive research and testing, an international panel of experts agree that there are exactly 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. There is still no accounting for this amazing coincidence. More details in 60 minutes. You know, every time I see this here triangle bell, it reminds me. 
Flash Live. This is Kermit the Frog here at Jack's house. We have just witnessed something incredible. Jack, who is very nimble and quick, has just jumped over the candlestick. Wait a second, folks. He's about to do it again. Yes, he did it. Jack has jumped over the candlestick twice. And now back to our regular programming. You're listening to W357, The Odd Station. It's time to play I've Got Your Number. All right, my beautiful bats. Go and hide behind one of these lovely numbers. Abracadabra! The bats are now hiding behind a number. I will give you a little clue to help you find the bats. Watch this. It will help you. My little friend Elmo went looking for butterflies. In the morning, he saw one butterfly. Then, in the afternoon, he didn't see any butterflies at all. How many butterflies did Elmo see all together? You are absolutely, positively correct! My bats were hiding behind the wonderful number one! Elmo saw one butterfly! Let's play again soon. Aha, my little friend, you are back. It must be time to play. I've got your number. Here is the clue. Cookie Monster had 12 cookies. He ate two of them. How many cookies does he have left? Of course! My bats were hiding behind the tremendous number 10. Cookie Monster has 10 glorious cookies left. Let's play again soon. Count Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a forest. Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear. These three bears were perfectly happy with their lives together. No one bothered the three bears or asked them any silly questions. The bear family was very thankful for this. But then one day they decided to have a picnic lunch. So Papa Bear made some honey sandwiches for their outing. Just as they were about to leave the house, who do you think showed up? That's right, Count Goldilocks. Count Goldilocks was a boy who had so many golden curls, even he couldn't count them, although he tried. As soon as he saw the three bears, he said, Aha! Look! That's one furry bear! That's two furry bears! A and there! That's three brown furry bears! Papa Bear turned to Mama Bear and asked, Do you know this guy? I've never seen him before in my life, Mama Bear answered. Then Baby Bear added, Aren't we doing on our picnic? Picnic? I love picnics! Count Goldilocks exclaimed. And look, you all have picnic baskets. That's one picnic basket. That's two picnic baskets. That's three wonderful baskets. Why do you have three picnic baskets? Look, Papa Bear said. 
You're right, we do have three picnic baskets, and we are three bears, but we're on our way out, so if you wouldn't mind... But then Count Goldilocks saw the three bears, three chairs. He was so excited he couldn't help himself. That's one chair, Count Goldilocks exclaimed. That's two chairs. That's three wonderful wooden chairs. Why do you have three wooden chairs? By now, the three bears were getting mad. They were also very hungry, because it was way past their lunchtime. They didn't know what to do. Oh, look! Count Goldilocks said. How cute! That's one bear bed. That's two bear beds. That's three bear beds. Uh, why do you have three bear beds? The bears looked at each other and didn't know what to say. Suddenly, Baby Bear shouted. I get it. We have three picnic baskets, and we have three wooden chairs, and we have three bear beds. They all come in threes because there are three of us. We are the three bears. Wow! Papa Bear and Mama Bear had to agree. Of course, they were very pleased that Baby Bear had answered Count Goldilocks' question, but more importantly, they were delighted to be able to get on with their lunch. The End So long, my friend! That was one wonderful visit! Hey, Bert, look who's here. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, those sparkles tickle. <laughs> oh, no. I hear Ernie has a surprise for me. I hate surprises. And now, from the company that gave you the numbers one and two, a number bigger than you've ever dreamed of. A number so big that it equals one and two added together. The new, improved, incredibly useful number three. Use it to count three things, now available in three different locations near you. <laughs> News Flash Live, this is Kermit the Frog here at Jack's house. We have just witnessed something incredible. Jack, who is very nimble and quick, has just jumped over the candlestick. Wait a second, folks, he's about to do it again. Yes, he did it! Jack has jumped over the candlestick twice. 
And now back to our regular programming. Now, for the first time, Number Records brings you Zero's Greatest Hits. That's right. Order now and in no time get these great hits. Nothing matters. It's nothing. And nothing plus nothing makes nothing. Not to mention that wild new dance craze doing nothing. Call right now and as a special bonus, get that wild new number one more time. Hurry, we may not have any left. Now, a once-in-a-lifetime special offer. Listen carefully, because we're only going to say it once. Now, for one day only, one number one will be given to the first caller who dials one. This one-time offer is not available in even one store. You've seen them on Sesame Street, on calendars, and on your telephone. Now's your chance to meet them in person. Come see the holiday spectacular Numbers on Ice. See all your favorites, the square four, the odd nine, and in a final appearance, the supremely prime seven. Great! You want to play the paperclip chase with me and Bert? Oh, yeah! Paperclips? Oh, boy, Ernie, I have a really interesting paperclip collection. Exactly, Bert. Now, I have hidden your paperclip collection all over our room. What? Now, all you have to do is find them. Oh, no, my, my pa paperclips? Ernie, mm -hmm. where did you put them? Oh, I'm no good at games. Well, it looks like old buddy Bert needs your help to find as many of his paperclips as you can. I'll say. Now, here's what you do. You have three chances to find as many paper clips as possible. I hid paper clips behind everything that you wear on your feet, and everything that has wheels, and everything that's blue. The roller skates! It has wheels. It's also blue. And you know what else? It's something you wear on your feet. And that means you get three paper clips. Good going. But now it's time to try another place. There are still lots of paper clips hidden out there. The airplane. It has wheels. It's also blue. Wow. You get two paper clips, because it's two of the things that I said. And now you have one last chance to find Bert's paper clips. Go ahead and choose another place to look. My sneakers. It's something you wear on your feet. So you get one paper clip. Good going. All right, that was your third and final chance to find Bert's paper clips. How does it look, Bert? Six paper clips? Oh, thanks a lot. Aren't they beautiful, Ernie? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Oh, boy, I can't wait to make them into a chain. Gee, Bert, you really know how to have fun. Anyhow, thanks for playing with me and Bert. Yeah. We had a great time. Now, let's hide Bert's paper clips again real soon. Okay with you, Bert? Oh, Ernie. This will be really neat. Just move your star over to the person you want to call, and then press the button. Hello. You've reached Elmo's number. You want to know what Elmo's number is? It's five. Call Elmo again soon. Bye. This will be really neat. Just move your star over to the person you want to call, and then press the button. Hello, this is the count. I can't come to the phone right now. 
Please leave a message. Or two messages. Or three messages. Oh, I can't wait to come home and count your messages. This will be really neat. Just move your star over to the person you want to call and then press the button. Hi, you've reached Big Bird's number hotline. Today's number is six. That's right, six is today's hot number. So if anyone asks you how much three plus three is, tell them six. That's sure to impress them. Bye for now. Ernie and the Count and the Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, not so long ago, Ernie met the Three Little Pigs. You know, the ones who went through that whole terrible ordeal with the Big Bad Wolf. Well, Ernie and the pigs became such good friends that the pigs invited Ernie to come by and visit them. Ernie didn't want to be impolite, so he invited the Count to come along. When they reached the three little pigs' house, Ernie knocked on the door. That's one knock, the Count said as Ernie knocked on the door for the first time. That's Two knocks, the Count said as Ernie knocked on the door for the second time. Ernie was about to ask the Count to stop counting when suddenly the door opened. Standing in a row were the three little pigs. They were very happy to see Ernie. But before they could say a word, the Count spoke up. That's one pig, the Count said. That's two pigs. Who's this guy? One of the pigs asked. Oh, he's a friend, Ernie responded. That's three little pigs, the Count continued. Well, why is he counting us? Another pig asked. Oh, he loves to count, Ernie replied. Counting is my life, the Count added. Well, I hate being counted, the third pig said out loud, and the other pig squealed in agreement. Well, I don't want to bother you, Ernie said and started to leave. Oh, don't get us wrong. We're glad you came to visit, the first pig said. In fact, this is a great time for you to come because we were just starting our annual family reunion. Oh, no. You don't mean that all your pig relatives are here, Ernie asked. Of course, one of the pigs said as he opened the door a little further to reveal a whole room full of little pigs. Look, Ernie! The Count exclaimed. I am so happy! Look at all the little pigs! Count, please don't. Please, Count. That's one little pig! The Count began, ignoring Ernie's pleas. That's two little pigs! He continued. In moments, That's the Count three, was three, in the center three, of the room, surrounded five, by pigs. Four, six, seven, oh, well, Ernie said, nine, still three. standing outside the door. Gee, maybe I'll go visit the four and twenty blackbirds and see what's cooking with them. <laughs> the End Bye-bye now. Yeah, come back anytime, and maybe I'll show you my bottle cap collection. Oh! Emma not see you come back. Oh, who did you visit? Emma, hope you have fun with Big Bud, but bring Emma back surprise, okay? <laughs> Hi! I'm so happy you came to visit my nest.
Having fun? <coughs> Greetings! It is I, Count Van Gaon. And what do you think I am doing? <laughs> of course I am counting things! One spider, two spiders, three spiders, four spiders, five spiders! Ah, ah, ah! to call? Ernie and Bert? Or the Count? Or Elmo? Ring! Ring! Elmo loves to hear the phone ring. Call again so Elmo can hear the rings again. Who do you want to call? Ernie and Bert? Or the Count? Or Elmo? Hey, 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 hey! This is the Bert and Ernie joke line, and this is Bert here with a great joke. <clears throat> How do you catch a fish? <laughs> oh, Ernie, you're really gonna laugh at this one. Uh, give up? I'll tell you how to catch a fish. Here goes you, you buzz off. Uh, 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 Ernie, Ernie, you're not laughing. That that was a joke. You were supposed to laugh. Huh. Oh, Ernie, I told you I can't tell jokes. Anyway, here's laughing with you. Uh, uh, bye. This is Big Bird saying a few words on behalf of the number two. The number two is a great number, because with the number two, you're never lonely. That's because there are always two. One, two. Like me and you. <laughs> this is a Sesame Street news flash. Weather has broken out all over the world. There are reports of rain, snow, and sunshine everywhere. Scientists are still searching for an explanation. Timothy Frog here with today's traffic report. Today, in a freak accident on the Fairyland Freeway, a van driven by the three bears collided with a limousine carrying the three little pigs. Nobody was harmed. An entirely new fairy tale is being written. Oh boy, today is your lucky day. It's time to play my near and far game. When you weren't looking, I hid my bag of bird seed behind something in my nest. And if you find the bird seed, you win the game. It's easy to play. Just move around my nest, and I'll tell you if you're getting nearer to the bird seed or farther away. When you think you know where my bird seed is, move the star to the hiding place and press the button. Okay? Now, start looking. You're kind of near the bird seed. You're very, very near the bird seed. You're very near the bird seed. You're as far away from the bird seed as you can get.
It was behind the cuckoo clock all the time. You win, you win. You found the hiding place. And there's my bird seed. You sure listen to my clues, all right. Let's play again later. Little Miss Muffet Bird. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and bird seed. Then from above her, a grouch came to hover and said, What's to drink? I'm thirsty. So Little Miss Muffet got up from her tuffet and opened the pantry door. There's some cheese and a cake, a pie and some steak, but nothing to drink anymore. It's hard to think when there's nothing to drink, said the grouch with a wink of his eye. I don't think I can wait, or I'm sure to be late, so I'll take the cheese and the pie. Before she could speak, her beak had a tweak, and she let loose a terrible sneeze. When the air had cleared, just as she feared, the grouch was all covered with cheese. <laughs> the end. So long. Tell Elmo I said hi. Yoo-hoo, Elmo see you. What games did you play with Big Bird? Is it time for Elmo to say goodbye? Press the button again to leave Sesame Street. <laughs>